Can you hear it? Yeah. We could have played it together. You have it? I do. It doesn't it's not really sound like anything now. Eh, basically, I just want to play Fraggle Rock. <laughs> a rum barrel? Yes, please. You rum and an electric bass guitar. I don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. I was hoping. Oh. So Damn enamored it. by a barrel that you didn't notice. That now I get to play Fraggle Rock <laughs> no. with this bad boy. It was... Oh, oh no! I'm just gonna serenade these hot babes. And they don't. Why would you? Ah! Oh. They were totally digging it. <laughs> You could just tell they were a fan of Fraggle Rock. I don't want to look at you. Maybe that's why they don't like Hylodl so much, huh? You ever think of that? Maybe that's why the Florin hate your people. Uh, I don't even want this rum barrel anymore. <laughs> you rum bega. Oh, that sounds so nice. Yeah, see, these guys, these guys are digging it too. <laughs> They're all over you. <laughs> They're trying to snatch it from my hand. <laughs> that or give me a black eye. I can't really tell. <laughs> One of the two. Maybe both. <laughs> Where's my axe? Oh. Everything all right? You got a meanie up ahead. Wait. I'm just waiting. Uh, what, what what race is he? He's got a gun. All right, he's leaving. He has like a... I don't think it's an avian. But he has like a bird kind of design. Might be avian. I don't think so. I mean, you'll have to let me know, I guess. Yeah, avian. That's an avian? Why would he shoot at me? Wait, I think he's a monkey. Oh no. No, he's an avian. Oh, I'm one of you! Of oh, oh, geez. Lagged a little bit, yeah. Oh boy. Does it seem like it, it was doing a lot of damage Ooh. to you? Yep, they, they do a lot. I mean, I was already kind of hurt. I didn't really think I'd have to heal up. Well, I guess I'll put a torch down. This is the first time I've encountered, like, an avian... Mm-hmm. Temple kind of thing, and they're just all right shooting me. Why? I told you. They're bad. No, that's not true. They're all bad. That's not true. That's impossible. Every single one of them. Did you kill them? Yep. They're dead. All right, wait up for me, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's one of these things I was talking about. Okay. Ooh, that could I'll prove to you that they're bad. Hi. Oh, hello. Oh, I got, I got company. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh, the little platypuses. <laughs> Platypi. There's another guy here, so, uh, keep your distance. I'll just play some rousing oh, music for oh, you. Bulbasaur, uh, went on a piece of the action, too. Finish the job. Wild Thrash Poker. I got a new new blueprint from a flesh strand. Yeah, me too. I've been picking them up. Oh. I would, I would like my prayer altar. Oh, I thought it was like a throne. Oh boy. Oh. Was he making a move? I don't know. Well, the guy on the right has a gun. I can take. If you go up there first. 
Everyone has a choice. <laughs> so we got a, a nice looking avian female out there, I'm not afraid to say. Oh. Don't do it. Uh oh. This is one of these uh, ascendants I was talking about. You have so much to live for, buddy. He wants to jump, but you don't have to do this. Oh, well, well I guess he does. <laughs> what did he say? I don't know. On his way down, something. Oh. Uh oh. I, uh. Oh, he's alive. I, however, did not survive. <laughs> well, you didn't have to jump, too. Solidarity, man. <laughs> I'm one of those grounded. Yeah, I should explain. I mean, I've already... Oh, boy, I gotta make my way back there now. I'll explain it when I get back. Okay, you're good? Mm-hmm. I'm back. Oh... That attractive-looking avian was replaced with this... thing. Oh, that avian was, uh... This indescribable horror. <laughs> That's the avian. What? That's what happens in the ceremony. No. They turn it to that. It's not true. Well, the avian survived the fall, but I don't know what happened to him. He's gone. Oh, uh, they probably killed. Oh, he just kind of wandered off. New sense of meaning in his life, hopefully. Is this is this it though? Looks like this is the, mm -hmm. That's the it. tippy top. That's everything. So there's not a lot to these, but well, still not, not too bad. Yeah. Basically, the lore of the avians is they some I I don't know if all of them or some of them have their wings clipped, and those are called the grounded. And there's this religious ceremony where they're basically forced to jump to their deaths. Uh, it, those that do jump are called ascendants. And that that avian who, who leapt but survived and said that he didn't want to do it, that's one of the ascendants. Oh, yes. What did you get? A weapon? Dance chop. Huh? Dance top. Oh, good. Well, spandex. Well, shimmy and shake. Uh, show your, shake your money maker. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm not. Hang on. Why am I not? My head's not bobbing. There it is. I gotta get some Charlie Brown music. Remind me to do that. Okay. I'm gonna forget, but I know. Hello, Bumbleborg here with this postscript to the video, and I just wanted to take a look at one of the codexes for the avians that gives a, a bit more detail into their backstory. Uh, I think I explained the Ascendance ritual for the most part, but I was reading through this again, and it looks like I might have missed a little bit, so I thought I would... Uh, just just go through it. Uh, I, do, I do think the avian backstory is pretty fascinating and, and tragic. So, it reads, For centuries, the avians soared through the skies, born on wings of feather and flesh. They were a proud, peaceful species, respectful of their traditions and gods. So respectful, in fact, that when their gods, the sunborn, spoke to them, they listened. They listened and obeyed as one god, Cluex, the last of the sunborn, commanded their elders to clip the wings of the lower caste avians. They obeyed even as the flightless became ostracized, oppressed, living only to serve Cluex. They obeyed as their elders erected tall towers, from which the Ascendants, the chosen flightless, were to leap. They obeyed as one by one the Ascendants hit the ground, never to fly again. Cluex, they were told, was pleased. Oof, that's pretty heavy stuff. And so in the first part of this, uh beta playthrough, I, I had joked, I, I read one of the codexes that said that my guy was, this, was an atheist and trying to disprove the identity or the existence of Cluex, uh, and yeah, oh man, I guess there's a good reason behind it, huh? 
So yeah, that's that's pretty pretty sad when you when you take all that together. And you'll, you'll notice I'm not playing as Cuddleflyer now. I am playing as this random avian called Moonpecker, and that is because that there um, was an update recently, and that just caused all progress to be wiped. And there are going to be, I guess, more wipes in like during the course of this beta. So had to make a new avian just to show this stuff off. So the next video is going to have Cuddleflyer in it, but after that, he is gone. I guess rest in peace, Cuddle Flyer. You weren't able to fly in life, but I have a feeling you're flying with the angels in heaven now.